What on earth has gone on here? Big holes. I don't know if there, maybe that was uh, a head gasket blown and it's been blown for a while and it's got just got worse and worse or something. And that one as well. And of course, the guys who brought it in have said, have said can you weld it? Blimey. I said, probably not. <laughs> we could give it a go and see what happens. It's no good as it stands, so we've kind of got, or well, they've got nothing to lose, I suppose. Um, and they said they'll pay, they'll pay me for my time, even if it doesn't work out. So we're going to give this a go. This it's an alloy block, and it's got obviously steel liners because it's gone rusty in the bores. But they are so thin. That is ever so thin there. Can we even see the join here? Let's um, dull things down a bit, see if that will... You know, what, what way we're going. That is ever so thin. Looks like looks like about a millimetre thick steel lining. Um, any which way. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen where we've got a bit of... where we've got this little bit of steel along the side. Although the top of that has, has disappeared anyway. Hmm. I don't know. It's really filthy black as well. I don't know what's going on there. Some kind of, I don't know, kind of corrosion or something, or, well, God knows. But uh, we'll have a go at cleaning that up first. See what it looks like and see what happens when we strike an arc on it. Well, that looks cleanish. No nasty black coating on it anymore anyway. So we'll give it a wipe over with some alcohol. And uh, yeah, strike an arc on it, see what happens. Well, the welding has actually gone not too bad. Surprisingly, not too much power required. Running at about 130 amps, I think. And yeah, it's, it's welding fine on the alley side, but we're kind of wrecking the bore. As I'm trying to fill in the gap between the alley and what looks like a steel liner, it's just, it's not really having it. And it seems like it's really thin. And I don't know, am I blistering that? But I think it's going to be any good. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a go at the other one, which might be. I don't know, it might might work out better because there's a bit more of a lip here with the actual steel or iron or whatever, but mm. even though steel or iron melts a much higher temperature than the aluminium, that's pretty thin. And the amount of heat that you have to put in to get the alley to, wet, to melt is messing with this as well. It's not like it's staying there. I, I did wonder whether it should have had a a plug in it. You could have put a, a big bung in the top of this to support it. 
and take the heat away from the, the liner whether that would have worked um, but this way is kind of messed up now it's a bit late to be thinking along those lines I did have a quick look to see if I had anything which might work as a bung and I couldn't see anything yeah a bit late now It just looks so thin there. Uh. Well, let's see if that will uh, stop the edge of the liner from breaking away. Well, I forgot to uh, video pulling this out of the cylinder. It seems to have kind of done something. Putting this, uh, this is a stainless steel. I don't know if it was cut from a tube and opened out or whether it was actually rolled around from a piece of sheet but that's quite a decent fit in there so yeah that kind of stopped looks like we've welded aluminium to the stainless there hmm but yeah it's kind of stopped the edge of the liner from burning away but right that's a pretty horrible porous lump of weld there I daren't try and melt this in because it will just more of the edge of the of the bore like the other one So, all we can do, I think, is, well, I don't know if we're going to do it or somebody else is going to do it, try and skim the top of this. I'm not sure if this is any bloody good at all. That looks pretty horrible now, where this blistered up and I've, I had to resort to using a carbide burr to get, get the bumps off. It was almost as if the liner had got hardened. That was really, really hard there, and that is now really rough. So I suspect this is no good. Um, and this one, oh, I don't know if that's any better. Yeah, the stainer stopped the, the edge of the liner from collapsing. Or oh, did it? Or oh, has that melted away anyway and just not... Yeah, don't know. Interesting experiment, but um, not particularly successful, I would say.